hey guys welcome to creative soft and in this particular tutorial i'm going to show you all how to always use https over http in wordpress so uh, if you have created this particular video uh, i mean the project so our test project is wavelength and if you all been following this particular tutorial you all must be knowing that uh, we have set up on our local machine this particular project called as wavelength now uh, you all must have noticed that there is something called as HTTP whereas if you go to something like Amazon.com or any other uh, site like Google.com and all so they'll be having uh, the HTTPS okay so by default even if you click it over here it is showing HTTP and not HTTPS now in this particular tutorial I'm going to show you all how uh, we usually you know always make these force to HTTPS so you all can just go to HTTPS and you can click on it and it will show you the warnings because obviously SSL certificates are not there so by default even if you click it over here and if you just go back it will be HTTP in certain cases so uh, I just want you all to show you all uh, which plugin to be used in for example uh, if I always want this as HTTP and not uh, HTTP, I mean HTTPS and not HTTP. So you all can see if I just go back and uh, click it, it is uh, the HTTP and not HTTPS. Okay. So for this, I'm using a plugin called as uh, Force SSL. Okay. You all can just go in plugins and add a new plugin okay it's called w force wp force ssl okay so you all can even use this really simple ssl basically it does the same uh, this particular plugin is also uh, used sometimes on my other side so i usually uh, like this particular plugin more so simply because of the uh, i don't know like just my preferred plugin so if you see the ratings and all even the really simple ssl also is going is good enough but uh, it throws some annoying uh, something like pop-ups so i usually do not use this i use this okay so if you all must have seen so it usually takes http sometimes if you just remove the s okay now what this plugin does is it forces the ssl that is it is always going to use uh, uh, https okay and also i would like to um, enable this it is using hsts so this is another secure connection okay so once you save it because the installation is a bit simple on this for a beginner so I would like to use this okay now once I click this it will always show me HTTP as and not the normal HTTP okay so let's refresh this okay as you all can see it is HTTPS so on local uh, basically you don't have uh, the certificates installed so on a live server you will definitely will be able to it do it also if you just notice i have just removed the s over here uh, this particular part and let me just try this up once i remove it should redirect to https okay so no matter what you'll do it will always redirect to https so again thanks for watching this particular video guys if you think this uh, uh, tutorial is useful please hit the like button and share it with your friends family and colleagues also share it with those people who are new into wordpress or who are just beginning to learn wordpress okay and see you in my next video